What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody? It's only we played, and uh, the long promised. If you're gonna go out and drink, this is some COD Four gameplay. If this runs a little longer, I'll add some uh, COD Four shooting gameplay, a little variety to you. It's Friday, and you're going. You know what? I think it's time for me to go out and get wasted. Well, I'm here to give you the tips of how to properly go out and get your buzz on. Again, if you are not of age to drink, don't drink. Um, and obviously enjoy yourself responsibly. What I think is really funny is when you watch these commercials and there's these things where it's like some kind of pill, if you have like an itch and it's like, it, you know, may cause diarrhea, may cause this, may cause that. It's just like, damn, like they're giving you every single possible information that they legally have to, but with alcohol, they just kind of go, just be responsible. Just, 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 just be safe. And uh, so I'm gonna give you guys some tips for you, for you just turned 21ers, or I don't know what the legal age is other places, but here it's 21. Let me explain it. So um, first tip is you need to know that you're gonna be intaking alcohol. Alcohol is a poison, and so what you need to do is you also need to intake other things along the way to kind of prepare for the hangover. And uh, one of the things that you need to do is you need to uh, probably have a nice hearty meal before you go out for a night of drinking. And um, some people make the mistake of pre-funking, which is, you know, to save some money or whatever, you need to actually drink some alcohol before you go to the bar, which is really stupid because by the time you get there, you're just, it just it's a shit show. So you want to eat. And then also one thing that I've learned in my years of drinking experience is that water is key. Um, throughout the night, chug a couple bottles of water. Just, just it's gonna save you so much on the uh, on the tip of later on when you're really really drunk. So, a couple things you need to kind of make a conscious decision when you want to drink. Like I, I don't understand these people that surprise drink. And what I mean by that is just be like, oh, I just had a couple drinks and all of a sudden we had 15 and all my shit face. Ah. It's like no, you need to basically make a plan. If you are going to go out to drink and um, this commentary is going to be so sporadic and so all over the place. I already know that I'm going to have other things I need to get into. But um, so first thing first, obviously have a good meal before you decide you are going to go drink. Figure out the driving situation. Um, don't think like it is the stupidest thing for you to do to go. OK, I'm going to go out and have just a couple drinks and then just drive home. So figure out either a DD, a taxi um, somebody later on could pick you up and take you back. Figure out something so that after you're drinking, you're not driving. Because that is, like, a DUI is, like, the worst thing you could do. You could possibly kill someone. And so that's that's pretty much about, like, you need to focus on, you need to actually have your exit strategy before you take your first drink. Um, now, when you go to the bar, one of the first things that you should do is... Um, what I like to do is I, I stick to one drink. I like, I'm myself, I'm a Jaeger bomb kind of guy. I like Jaeger bombs and screwdrivers and also Patron. So the best thing to do is to try to stick to one drink and then go up to the bartender. And hopefully you already have a rapport with the bartender from going there previous times. So this is your first time going out. This is like a local neighborhood bar or a place that you know you're going to frequent often. Go up to the bartender and order, you know, order what you normally order and tip insane on it. I mean, like, uh, let's say you order, you know, two Jaeger bombs, it's 10 bucks, give them 20. Like, there you go. What you're doing is you're planting the seed that later on in the night, if there's a crowd, he might actually say, fuck the rest of the crowd and, and serve you first. He's going to know what you want and he's going to make the drinks fatter. Okay. <laughs> uh, you need to know what kind of drinks that you like. You need to know what your shot is. You need to know what not your shot is. And you need to also know that don't don't mix a lot of different types of drinks. Like it's a bad idea to have like Rumpel Mints and then a Jaeger Bomb, then a Patron shot, then some vodka, then some rum, um, then some you know. Basically, try to keep it very segregated as far as the people that you are, you know, the people, <laughs> the nationalities of the drinks that you're actually taking. Try to do that. Uh, another thing is that you need to know that when you are drinking, p 
put your phone away. One thing that, and I've done this too many times, one thing is that you have to realize that even though you are having the time of your life, you're really wasted, you're feeling like you're partying or whatever, realize that people that aren't drinking, that are at home trying to get a good night's rest, do not give a shit what you have to say in a drunk text or a drunk phone call. Just realize that. Um, Drinking, going out to the bar with your friends is a social thing. Really, it should be a celebration. Like most people, what they do is that they have a, uh, how do I say this? They, they, they work like a Monday through Friday and then, you know, they've had a long week. Maybe they hate the job. Maybe they like it. I don't know, but they've had a long week, but now it's the weekend. So they go out and drink. So that's like a cel- a celebration. Celebration drinking is way more fun than poor me. I'm sad about life. I just think I should just get drunk because I'm like getting drunk out of boredom or getting drunk because you had a bad day never really leads to anything good. Just letting you know that right now. Um, tip fat on the bar. Here's the thing. The relationship that you have with the bouncer and the relationship that you have with the bartender are key. The bouncer can kick you out at any time you want. So you want to make sure that that man or woman's happy. And also with the bartender, you need to make sure him or her is taken care of. They don't really make much money, but they make a lot of money off of tips. So if you go in there, tip fat. That's all I can say is just tip fat. You won't, it'll actually save you money if you tip hefty. The reason why is because they're going to give you better drinks. Now, if you're ordering a, if you're ordering like bottled beer or something like that, obviously they can't give you extra beer. But like if you're ordering shots, they can, you know, they can make the shots bigger. Um, a lot of times if you tip fat, a lot of times bartenders will just take a bunch of stuff off. They just won't ring you up for some of the drinks or whatnot. Uh, liquor before beer, you're in the clear. And um, just realize that the more you drink, the shittier the next day is going to be. So if you have school, if you have work, um, well, here's the thing. You can drink and then and then go to work the next day. The only issue with it is, is you need to drink very, very moderately. But if you want to go out and get fiffy and black out, and I'm not telling you guys to go out and black out. Blacking out's not a good thing. It's actually your body going, no more alcohol, you know. <laughs> but if that is something you're interested in doing, you just need to basically make sure all your ducks in a row for it. Drink lots of water while you do it. Make sure you don't have shit to do the next day. Don't drive. Uh, tip your bartenders fat. And I'm going to let you know, for all you Call of Duty heads out there, one of the one of the most special things you can do is go out and get really, really wasted. And then, um, oh, and also, when you're, when you're like, really, really, really wasted, um, fucking is harder. It just is. It's just, it's not, you, you don't have the blood flow and you're just sloppy. And <sighs> girls don't find sloppy drunk dudes sexy. I'm just going to let you know that right now. Now, we may be more charming or we think we're more charming, but we're not. And, um... Sloppy drunk girls are like drunk girls are sexy. Sloppy drunks are a mess. Um, As far as things for a girl to do, I have no idea because I'm not a girl. You guys look like you have lots of issues and problems you need to work out. Um, Also, last tip I'm going to give you is try to go with cash. Give them your card. Say I'm not going. You know I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to be charging this, but I'm going to be paying cash. But normally a, a bar wants to keep a card on file. Never run out in your tab. And uh, I'm only late. I only uh, stab people when I knife them. And uh, safe drinking. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's uh, let's edit this out so it all syncs up. Okay, I forgot. I forgot about money. So if you don't have money to go out and drink, don't. All right. Nothing's more pathetic than you being re- you being kind of wasted and you go, I don't have any more money. And you ask your friends and then nice guys like me have to buy you a drink because you're an asshole. So uh, if you don't have money to go out, and this applies to restaurants as well as bars. If you don't have money to go out and properly tip and, and, and spend that money for the night, don't go out. Period. Um, unless someone's going to be taking care of you money wise but for the most part just don't 
Uh, what you see right here is... Um, I just can't believe that I'm on a rampage and my helicopter kills me. So enjoy it. I'll leave the audio on. And uh, not telling you to go out and drink, but if you do, just follow a couple simple steps. <laughs> 